ensure the living and toil is honored and filled with gratitude to be given this time in this day of celebration. Two years ago, my brother stood here for his last time. It was the first graduation lunch of our school, and we sent off our first seniors full of lives. With tears and hearty applause. And a year ago, we came to turn off the tongue getters. Though with a heavy heart, we gave them the best farewell we could. The thing is, for our batch, they were our only seniors. And they passed their torches on to us, and we became the seniors. And we tried our best to follow their footsteps. Maybe we may have jumped some of their footprints, or even took some shortcuts but mostly made our own paths. And yes, our last year was not a year that anyone would have wished for. We were locked in our homes, we logged into the Zoom every day, we adapted, we missed a lot of things, and we missed our friends even more. But here we are, hand sanitized, masks on, all of us seated here to graduate when the whole world is in the midst of a global pandemic. We will give ourselves a round of applause. I stand here as a proud, confident, and capable student. Being one of the oldest students here, my journey started 10 years ago along with my friends, mom and Back in 2011, I enrolled in this school as a little chubby boy. Back then, all of us were a bit chubby. Seven of us in Grade Street and 49 in the whole school. The first school bell it was a flat metal piece hung at the nearest corner of our school clock, and it was round by a wooden hammer. This image in my memory always brings nostalgia, and sometimes I would remember the smell of the ketchup this meant. They served back then at lunch. And it will take me to those days that now seem to my dreams that I have dreamt and were one of the happiest times of my life. You see, there will always be something boring in school. But this past 10 years, I have had fun too. I have had fun in the music competitions, the after school choir practices, the assemblies watching the drama club perform, performing in teacher's day, the exciting carnivals, the night rehearsals, the cold, exciting annual functions, the hot days of the sports week, dancing and singing in social night, running around at lunchtime, playing outside in PE, visiting my mother's room, surprise back check-ins, Staying up late in the hostel, getting a free class, laughing with my friends at the latest jokes. I have spent more than half of my life here. And over the years, many friends and teachers have come and gone. But the ones that have stayed are the precious friends that I have here today. By now, I have spoken in front of the mic several times. Each time my heart will calm, my legs will shake, and I'll lose my breath. But each time I give the best of my energy, I learn from my mistakes, and I found success. And I've come to realize that I enjoy speaking in front of people. I stand here today for my last time, and it is a proof of what the school has achieved in me. That chubby little boy was taught how to respect others, to always give his hundred percent, to do the right thing even when no one is looking, to be responsible, and to cherish the opportunities. The school has given me the best start in life, and what I have learned here will forever be the foundation on which my life will be built on. I stand here today as a proud, capable, and confident student. 
I would like to give my gratitude and thanks to the school and all of its staff. Firstly, I would like to thank Namatu and Sir Pitam for always keeping the school in order and for your kindly corrections and guidance. I'd like to thank my class teachers. I'd like to thank Sir Jody Schwan for teaching us the complex world of physics. I want to thank Ma'am Abida for being so kind and always giving her best. We are honored to be one of your first students. I give my thanks to Ma'am Abin for being our last class teacher, for being such a gentle person, for making bio seem so simple and for always being so pretty. I'd like to thank Ma'am Asundara on behalf of my, as my friends. And also they leave their gratitude, though it's not here, they leave their gratitude to Sir Yang. And we always hear of the constant energy, enthusiasm, and passion of the arts teachers. And on behalf of my friends, I would like to thank Sir Bihiro, and Sujibani, and Tia, and Sir Peter. And of course, we can't forget Sir Vise and Sir Alton. Not only teachers, but you guys are like big brothers to us. And your classes have always been classes where we can de-stress, fool around sometimes, have fun. We thank you for being our teachers. And to the man who taught all 42 of us, for us poems and stories, we would like to thank Ma'am Lisa, excuse me, Ma'am Ajun, for being more than a teacher and a close friend, and we will Make sure that we'll come by for more coffee. I would also like to thank the music department, Sir Kenny, Ma'am Alan, Sir Michael, and Sir Bert for sharing us the love of music and for all the songs that we have sung. I also thank all the teachers that have ever taught me and I will not forget the lessons that I have learned from them. I also give my gratitude and thanks to all the Dallas and DDs they have worked hard, maintained the school, cleaned up after us, and always served us hot lunches every day. I have my gratitude towards Uncle Utunsu for being such a hard worker and for being there since the start of my journey here. Lastly, I would like to thank Mr. Sashi and Sir Sanan for being such great role models for your passion, your enthusiasm, your wisdom teaching us to build our characters and to be kind and for simply starting this whole school. And my friends will make sure that I thank them too. So I thank all my friends for being there. The school will never be fun without you guys. I to give thanks to my friend Asam for being my partner in these last few years, for sharing the duties and for always knowing what is what was happening around the school. And to my dear juniors, whoever has come here, I thank you for coming. As a last parting message, I would like to say that though we are your seniors and must set great examples, we are not that different. We are not in the same boat, but we are in the same ocean. So instead of advice, I encourage all of you that we work on ourselves together. Firstly, let us realize that in life, hard work is a necessity. In Naruto, Rock Lee says, A dropout will be a genius through hard work. Let us realize that what we lack in talent, hard work will make up for it. Let's give that extra effort and go that extra mile. And let us also realize that with true hard work, sacrifice is inevitable. In Attack on Titans, Armin Arlen said, People who can, can throw something important away can never hope to change anything. And above all, we do not know what the future holds. We do not even have complete control over ourselves. So let us learn to keep our faith in God and strive to seek His kingdom. Lastly, to all the fellow Mempolites, I would say that you enjoy and be in the moment. You never know when your teachers can schedule another Zoom meeting. 
We your seniors here are wondering when we had our last normal class. So cherish the time you spend with your friends and teachers. Enjoy being in the moment. These last few years have been the most memorable for me. Even with the pandemic, I'd like to share an anecdote. Back in grade 11, our class was selected for a March class competition for the Independence Day. Some of us had never marched before, and we went to the stadium for a week every morning. At first, we were really intimidated, we just casually walk in, line up among the military cartoons and the other schools will come with your TikTok uniform, do their warm ups, and will just stand there and observe. But we worked hard, we practiced the whole morning, we came back to school, did some more rounds in basketball court. And on that day, among several military cartoons and against schools from the various clubs wearing your TikTok uniform, we wore our black shorts, a gray shirt. Our goofy white club, uh, gloves, and we back second prize for our school. Our juniors and member lights here have and will in the future achieve more greater feats. To all my maps and sirs, some of us have already uninstalled our Google Classroom. In a few months, we will be stepping out of the shade of the metal tree and we will be giving one of the most important exams yet. Life will only get harder than only God knows what life holds for us. We may begin to lose faith or even doubt ourselves even more. But we are patriots. A pandemic plus graduates. Simple formula, but yet unlike any other. Whatever may be the hardships, maybe exams, or college, or even another virus, we will persevere, overcome, and celebrate like today. And as we grow, so will the school. We pass our torches today to our juniors, and I believe that the Mango Tree School spread its shape further and in it will walk brighter and even more brilliant minds. It will reach the skies and realize the potential shine like stars throughout the night. We will be assured that in his hands we will stand together. Shine on the metal tree, shine on the metal tree. God bless you.